I put up this video um, a little bit ago here on the uh, 1st of August, so about a month ago. This, this video has been up for about a month now. And uh, just warning this, the body of Christ about this racist cult that's uh, going out saying that Jesus was a black man and you can hate white people. And I mean, some of the comments are just, I might have to eventually shut down the comments section. It's just, there's so much profanity and just hatred coming from these people here. Just like when I deal with the white racists that try to teach replacement theology that they're the Jews. Um, it seems it's kind of weird when any, whenever anybody tries to come in and say that they're the Jews when they're not. Uh, they get this very mean, just hateful, just uh, about them. Racism will do that to people. That's why I abhor racism. But uh, just to show you a couple things here really quickly. The One of the comments I've seen in you know the comment section down there, they'll say that uh, one of their big attacks is that Paul um, was obviously a black man because he was mistaken for an Egyptian. And Egyptians are, you know, black. So obviously, you know, that proves some, that the Jews are black or something like this. It's quite a, a insane leap of, you know, reasoning. But that's what this movement's all about. Let me just show you here real quick, quickly the uh, scripture that they use. Acts chapter 21 uh, verse 37, and as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Who said, Canst thou speak Greek? Art not thou that Egyptian, which before these days made us an uproar, and led us out into the wilderness four thousand men that were murderers? But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew of Tarsus, a city of Cilicia, a citizen of no mean city, and I beseech thee, suffer me to speak unto the people. Okay, and he, of course, gives him license to do that. But see, you know, the, the Greek or this uh, soldier here, he thinks that, that uh, Paul is an Egyptian. So that proves that, you know, Egyptians are from Africa, so they're, they're black people. I mean, it just, it's insane, these, the stuff that these people come up with. All you got to do is just go to Google Images and do a, you know, search for something like Egyptian. I just typed in Egyptian riots. That way you get a whole spectrum of the people that are there on the street. Here they are, right here. I've known people from Egypt. Uh, and they're not black, okay? Um, there's a bunch of people there from Egypt. You know, this guy looks slightly like a lot of some of the black Africans, but again, not very dark skinned or anything. Here you have Sean Penn, the Hollywood actor, in Egypt over there, and he's a white man, probably, you know, Scotch, Irish, or something like that, descent. And you can look at the color of his skin compared to the color of most of the other Egyptian, you know, people around him. It's not that different. Okay. Um, I mean, you can, you know, I mean, look at the president of Egypt and tell me he looks like a black African or something. They don't. Um, but you look at the Jews in Israel and you compare the Jews with Here's a picture, where's that? Here's a picture of the Palestinians. See? Their skin is, is maybe not as light as a European, but it's it's light. Okay, Jews, Egyptians, dark hair, fairly light skin, maybe a somewhat olive colored skin. They really don't look that different. Okay? So you could have a Jew, you know, looking like this, and somebody mistake him for an Egyptian. <laughs> it's just absurd. But see, this whole movement here, this whole thing is all about pride. I mean, it's kind of funny. It looks it looks kind of like a, a, you know, reminded me of some kind of little school play, you know, where like their, their mommies created costumes for them. You know, <laughs> they got all these special little outfits on and stuff like this, you know, it's like, okay, where's the stuff at even in scripture? Of course, they don't care about scripture. I've found that to be very true. But this whole thing, it's all about pride. It's all this extreme pride thing. And they're being set up. There's going to be race wars in the future. And this is all to incite, you know, the radical um, right wing uh, fascist uh, white movement. Again, you're going to have the whites, a lot of the fascist whites, 
uh, the Ku Klux Klan and stuff like that. They hate the, the Jews and, and everything. And, and a lot of the replacement theology, you know, Roman Catholics, they can't stand the Jews and they teach that they've replaced the Jews. So you're going to have that rising up to destroy this movement. And they will, by the way. It's going to be absolute total bloodshed. But, uh, and I find it interesting too. Here you have these guys, 12 tribes of Israel. Judah is the Negroes. Benjamin is West Indies, Indians, Haitians, Dominicans, Guatemala to Panama, Puerto Rico, Cubans, North American Indians, Seminole Indians. I can't read some of these other Mexico and things like this. Um, why aren't these other groups coming out and saying that they're the Jews? Standing on the street corner and stuff like this. You know, it's racism, people. It's all that this thing is. And, you know, like I said, I mean, the, the comment section has been absolutely filthy with this stuff. Uh, you know, if, if a movement is of the Lord, you're not going to see the level of hatred and profanity coming out of it. You know, it's, it's just disgusting to me how these people will just flat out lie about what the Bible teaches. Um, you know, and you can just go over lie after lie after lie where these people are coming out and things. But, you know, Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian because Egyptians and Jews really don't look that much different. Right? And Palestinians, they look very similar. So don't fall for this lie that, oh, uh, well, you know, Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian. So that proves that, you know, he looked like this or something. Nonsense.